Gresham College is an institution of higher learning located at Barnards in Hall of Holborn in central London, England. It was founded in 1597 under the will of Sir Thomas Gresham, and it hosts over 140 free public lectures every year. History Sir Thomas Gresham, founder of the Royal Exchange, left his estate jointly to the City of London Corporation and to the Mercer's Company, which today support the college through the Joint Grand Gresham Committee under the presidency of the Lord Mayor of London. Gresham's will provided for the setting up of the college, in Gresham's mansion in Bishopsgate, on the site now occupied by Tower 42, the former Nat West Tower, and endowed it with the rental income from shops sited around the Royal Exchange, which Gresham had established. The early success of the college led to the incorporation of the Royal Society in 1663 which pursued its activities at the college in Bishopsgate before moving to its own premises in Crane Court in 1710. The college remained in Gresham's mansion in Bishopsgate until 1768, and moved about London thereafter until the construction in 1842 of its own buildings in Gresham Street EC2. Gresham College did not become part of the University of London on the founding of the university in the 19th century, although a close association between the college and the university persisted for many years. Since 1991, the college has operated at Barnards in Hall, Hoburn EC1, professors. The seven original Gresham College professorships that date back to the origins of the college are as follows. Astronomy, Divinity, Geometry, Law, Music, Physic, Rhetoric. These original endowed chairs reflect the curriculum of the medieval university, but as a place for the public and frequent voicing of new ideas. The college played an important role in the Enlightenment and in the formation of the Royal Society. Early distinguished Gresham College professors included Christopher N., who lectured on astronomy in the 17th century and Robert Hooke, who was Professor of Geometry from 1665 until 1704. The professors received £50 a year, and the terms of their position were very precise. For example, the geometrician is to read as followeth, every trinity term arithmetic a, in Michaelmas and Hillary terms theoretical geometry, in Easter term practical geometry. The astronomy reader is to read in his solemn lectures, first the principles of the sphere, and the theory of the planets, and the use of the astrolabe and the staff, and other common instruments for the capacity of mariners. Today three further professorships have been added to take account of areas not otherwise covered by the original professorships. Commerce, established in 1985. Environment, established in 2014. Information technology, established in 2015. The professors currently hold their positions for three years, extendable for a fourth year, and give six lectures a year. There are also regular visiting professors appointed to give series of lectures at the college, and a large number of single lecture speakers. Gresham College Today Since 2000, the college regularly welcomes visiting speakers who deliver lectures on topics outside its usual range, and it also hosts occasional seminars and conferences. Today the college provides over 140 lectures a year, all of which are free and open to the public. Although many of the lectures are held in Barnards in Hall, the majority are now held in the Lecture Hall at the Museum of London for reasons of capacity. Since 2001, the college has been recording its lectures and releasing them online in what is now an archive of over 1,000 lectures. Annual lectures of particular note hosted by the college include, the college does not enroll any students and awards no degrees, Gresham Special Lecture Series. The Gresham Special Lecture originated in 1988 as a free public lecture delivered by a prominent speaker. It was devised as a focus point among the other 126 free public lectures offered every year. 2012, the R.T. Hon. John Burko, Parliament and the Public, Strangers or Friends. 
2011. Sir Adam Roberts, Reinventing the Wheel, The Cost of Neglecting International History, 2010. Lord Phillips of Worth Travers, The Challenges of the New Supreme Court, 2009. Niall Ferguson, The Ascent of Money, An Evolutionary Approach to Financial History, 2008. The Lord Archbishop of Canterbury, Rowan Williams, Early Christianity and Today, Some Shared Questions, 2007. Sir Roy Strong, The Beauty of Holiness and Its Perils, 2006. Baroness Kennedy of the Shores, Walking the Line, Preserving Liberty in Times of Insecurity, 2005. Lord Winston, Should We Trust the Scientists? 2004. Lord Rees of Ludlow, Science in a Complex World, Wonders, Prospects and Threats, 2003. Sir Harold Croto, I Think, Therefore I Am, a Scientist, 2002. M.S. Swaminathan, Towards Freedom from Hunger, a Global Food for Sustainable Development Initiative, 2001. Dr. Charles Saumarez Smith, Commerce and Culture in the Late Twentieth Century, 2000. Hans Kung, A Global Ethics, A Challenge for the New Millennium, 1999. Baroness Williams of Crosby, Snakes and Ladders, A Reflection on a Post-War Political Life, 1998. Sir Adrian Cadbury, The Future for Governance, The Rules of the Game, 1997. Dr. Ian Archer, Thomas Gresham's London, 1996, Sir Peter Middleton, Banking Today, 1995, So Michael Howard, Reflections on the 50th Anniversary of VE Day, 1993, Howard Davies, The City and Manufacturing Industry, 1992, Baron Hermann von Richthofen, A United Germany in the New Europe, 1991, our EVD, Dr. J. Poking Horn, Science and Theology, Traffic Across the Frontier, 1989, Sir Ralph Darendorf, The Decline of Socialism, 1988, The Most Reverend Kirill Archbishop of Smolensk, Russian Orthodox Church Life Today, The Second Millennium, 1987, Sir George Porter, Popular and Unpopular Science, 1985, the R.T. Hon the Lord Young of Grafham, The Rise and Fall of the Entrepreneur, 1984, Lord Blake, Monarchy, 1983, Lord Scarman, Human Rights and the Democratic Process, Excerpts from the Last Will of Sir Thomas Gresham, This is the L.A.S.T.E. Will Written and Disposition of Me Sir Thomas Gresham of the City of London Nitre, Concerning Her All My Manners, Lands. Tenementis, and hereditamentis, mentioned and content in one quadripartite indenture, made between me the said Sir Thomas Gresham and a man my wife on the one party, and Philippe Skew de Morgent, and Thomas Seeley on the party, dated the 20 day of May, in the 17th era of the reign of our sovereign lady Queen Elizabeth, and I will and dispose, that, the said Mayor and Corporation of the said city, London, shall give and distribute to and for the sustentation, maintenance, and finding of four persons from time to time to be chosen, nominated, and appointed by the said Mayor and Commonalty and citizens and their successors, meet to read the lectures of divinity, astronomy, music, and geometry, within me known a dwelling the house in the parish of Saint. Helena in Bishopsgate Street and St. Peter's the Poor in the City of London, the sum of £200 of lawful money of England, in manner and form following a, viz. to every of the said readers for the time being a the sum of £50 of lawful money of England yearly, for their are salaries and stipendis. Meet for four are sufficiently learned to read the said lectures, the same stipendis and salaries, and every of them, to be paid at two usual tiamis in the year or yearly, that is to say, at the feast of the Annunciation of Saint Mary the Virgin and of Saint Mighel Archangel, by even portions to be paid, and, that they and their successes every year or yearly shall give, and pay, and distribute to and for the finding a sustentation and main a tenants of three persons, 
by them the said Wardeans and Commonalty and there are successors from time to time to be chosen and appointed, meet to read the lectures of law, for Sica and Rathorica, within mean Norway dwelling the house in the parish of St. Helens in Bishop Hersgate Street and St. Peter's the poor, in the said city of London, the sum of one hundred and fifty pounders of lawful money of England, in manner and form following a, viz. to every of the said readers for the time being at the sum of fifty pounders, for there are salaries and stipendis, meet for three sufficiently learned to read the said lectures, at two usual tiermies in the era, that is to say, at the feast of Thannunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary and of Saint. Miguel the Archangel, by even portions to be paid. Thomas Gresham's mansion converted into an instructional facility with lodgings and research space for professors of law, physics, music, divinity, geometry, rhetoric, and astronomy, and shall permit and suffer seven persons by them from time to time to be elected and appointed in manner and form aforesaid. Meet and sufficiently learn to read the said seven lectures, to have the occupation of all my said mansion house, gardens, and of all other thapert announces, for them and every of them there to inhabit a study, and daylight to read the said several lectures. And my will is, that none shall be chosen to read any of the said lectures, so long as he shall be married, nor be suffered to read any of the said lectures after that he shall be married neither shall receive any fee or stipend appointed for the readinger of the said lectures. In WITNES whereof I the said Sir Thomas Gresham have written this will all with mean owner hand, and to each of the eight leaves have subscribed my name, and to a label fixed there, and to all the eight leaves have set o my seal with the grasshopper, the five day of July, in the seventeenth year of the reign of our sovereign lady Queen Elizabeth, and in the year of our Lord God, and 1575. By me Thomas Gresham witnesses to this last will and testament of the said Sir Thomas Gresham the persons whose names be subscribed, P.H. S.C.U.D.A.M.O.R., Thomas Billingford, Henry Noel, 